Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Today we're learning about the neon dotty back. A lot of times people look over this fish and don't see them. We used to not get them a lot in the shop, but we've getting them a lot recently because people are buying them so much. Prices on them, you'll spend about $50 on them. Tank size, 30 gallons. You don't need a big tank for them. Care level, they're really easy. Temper, they can be aggressive. If you had to think of what another fish it would be like to compare it to, it'd be kind of like a pseudochromus. You know how a pseudochromus will kind of find its area in the tank and kind of be territorial of that? Think of him being like that, except he goes all over the tank. He's a free swimmer. He goes everywhere. So just watch out for him. Maybe add all your fish and then add him last so he wouldn't get territorial over new people. Reef compatible, yes, he's a really good reef fish. He brings a crazy looking color to your tank. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 8.4. And your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025. Everything's normal there. Diet, they are a carnivore. Make sure you're feeding them anything from mysis, brine shrimp, creel, flakes, pellets. He'll pretty much eat anything. Max size, 4 inches. He doesn't get too big. Compatibility, you know, you can pretty much put him with anything you want. Just like I said, it's better to add him after other fish. Color is that nice orange with that blue top fin. Origin, most of them are captive bred. You don't really catch them in the wild anymore. All the ones we get are captive bred. Now these guys are a really good bristle worm eater, so if you are having problems with that and want to get a really pretty fish to do it, this is a good one to do. Another one, if you're having bristle worm problems, is the six line wrasse. He does a great job, and he's also really pretty too. That's it for this little guy, the neon daddy back. He's really cool to get. Just I would add him after your fish, definitely. But other than that, put him in your reef. He will stand out like a champ. Hope you all have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see y'all later. Also, make sure to look down in the comments. A lot of times I give a bunch of information off, and then my viewers will go down there and give their opinions on them too, so it really helps out to get a good overview of what this fish really is, because that's what we're doing. We're just trying to help each other out on how to take care of these fish. I'll see y'all later. We just hit a 1,000 subscribers. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. I can't thank y'all enough from that. All started out with me just working in the fish store with an idea to let everyone know how to take care of some fish. And here we are a thousand deep and it feels great. So to celebrate for the whole month of June, every single day, I'm going to put out a new episode of All About, about some kind of fish, some kind of crustacean, maybe different things on how to take care of stuff. But just either way, every single day, you're going to be getting a video from me and it's going to be awesome. Maybe even more videos. So here we go. Stay tuned. Here comes celebrating a thousand subscribers.